In this lesson, we do some work on connecting, multiplication, and division. Now, we know that 5 times 3 equals 15. And from that multiplication fact, we can come up with two divisions. We can say that 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Also say that 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So you can see the connection there between those three numbers, the 5, the 3, and the 15. Also, we know that 4 times 10 equals 40. And from that, we could say that 40 divided by 4 equals 10. Also, that 40 divided by 10 equals 4. So again, those three numbers, the 4, the 10, and the 40, there's a connection between them all in multiplication and division. Let's start off with the division this time. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. Now from that, we could say that 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Also, that 21 divided by 3 equals 7. We know that 48 divided by 6 equals 8. And from that, we could say that 6 times 8 equals 48. And that 48 divided by 8 equals 6. Let's look at some examples now. We're asked to fill in the missing numbers. In part A, we've got 4 times 6 equals something. Also, that 24 divided by 4 equals something else. And that something divided by 6 equals 4. So let's do the first part. 4 times 6 equals 24. Okay, did you remember your times tables? 4 sixes are 24. Now from that, 24 divided by 4. Well, that will equal 6. The next one, some number divided by 6 equals 4. Well, there's a connection between the other two. That number will be 24. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Part B, 27 divided by 9 equals something. And then something divided by 3 equals 9. And finally, 3 times 9 equals something. Well, from the top, 27 divided by 9. How many 9s go into 27? It goes 3 times. Some number divided by 3 equals 9. Well, can you think of that number? There's a connection between the one at the top. Did you say 27? Terrific. And 3 times 9, 3 9s equal 27.